to today's vlog. It's raining like a mother on days like this. Uh, there's not a lot of outdoor activity, although I am currently in the 2017 Hyundai Sonata plug-in hybrid. I still got about 10 miles left on this charge. I'll be charging it tonight. Not really going too many places today. But Kathy, once again, has given me an assignment. Uh, she didn't write it down, so I don't have to deal with you know, the spelling or anything like that. Gotta go up into town, do a couple of errands. And since the sun is not out and not blistering, wait, that joke didn't work. Since the sun is out and blistering, I'm gonna wear my shades. Ow, I just put myself in the cheek. A lot of people in this town get nervous when it rains and we get, you know, big, big amounts of water. Because in, in the history of this town, we have had lots of mudslides, lots of uh, rock slides are kind of the number one thing that uh, concern a lot of people that, that live here in the boot. But I don't worry about that stuff. Um, I look at it as the earth is just kind of adjusting itself. Sometimes it's got to release things, kind of like a earth art, you could call it. Hashtag earth fart. You can use that. It's okay. I'm not going to copyright that. You can, you can use that. But there's certain things to avoid as you're driving around when it's raining. And, and uh, those things include driving through the canyons. Much fun as it is to drive through pedals and not pass each other going at like 80 miles an hour like that guy just did. Right, so that guy that just passed me, he just blew right through a red light. I don't know what you're thinking, man. This shirt was given to me at a car show. It's a motorcycle guy. Forgive me, I don't, I don't remember the name of the guy that gave me the shirt. I feel bad about that. But if you are watching this, thank you. Thank you so much. It's really cool. Let me show you the back. I don't really know what it says on the back because I can't see it. I'll watch the vlog later. Okay, I want to talk to you guys about something. And this is important because um, it, it deals with us striving to achieve the, the goals that we have in our life. It, it deals with us having a clear vision on, on what it is that we want for our lives. In order to do this, I need an illustration. Okay, here's my visual. Pretty cool, huh? You could say that this is two wheels and the and the you know the running board between it's not that this this is this is you this is you oh that's you does that look like you that's you this over here this is where you want to be this this is all the the things that you want in your life you know you can fill this space with like a new house a new boyfriend a new husband to Twinkies you know what whatever it is that you want for your life and the question is, how do you get you here, right? This, this is the goal of life. You know, how do we get from where we are to where we want to be? This is everybody's plight, everybody's dilemma. This is like, how, you know, and I want to build a, a car, and how do I get to that point? I want to, I want to create a better life for myself in, 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 uh, in relationships, or I want to get healthier, all this kind of stuff. And, and how do I get from here? This is me. How do I get to there? It always just seems like it's it's just like out of, you know, this line can be really short, it can be really long, it doesn't really matter, it's still not together. How do you get them and put them together so that they become one? Mr. Happy, right there. You with everything that you want. Now some of you who have done really well for yourselves, who have lots of cash flow, may may think that, well, I know how to do that because I've done that and, and, and it's all about money. It's not. Not all about money. The reason it's not about money is because you can be sick and have cancer or something like that and be in a hospital bed and be sitting on a billion dollars in that one matter. You can be super healthy and have tons of money and you are crappy at relationships and you have nobody to share your life with. Have a relationship and have and, and be broke. So there's all different kinds of combinations, but the, the, the thing is you want to lift everything up so there's balance. So you know the whole point of, of yin and yang, yin and yang, right there 
is about balance. It's about creating balance in your life. You know, how are you going to get from that place where you are to where you want to be? Well, I'm glad you asked because I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you how to get from where you are to where you want to be, whether it's relationships, whether it's money, whether it's health, you know, whatever it is, because it's really not that complex. It's actually very simple. In fact, it's so simple that a child can understand it. And the first thing that you need to do is you need to know what you want. You need to have a clear, a crystal clear mental image of what it is that you want. If you not want a new relationship, you want, want a, a, uh, a new boyfriend or a girlfriend, you want to get married, you need to see up here in this cranial capacity, in this, in this mechanism that you have in your head called your brain, you need to see clearly what that is for yourself. Because if you don't see clear, you're, and you don't have a clear mental image of what that is, you're not going to get it. If you look back on your life and you see where you have done it in the past, you'll notice that you thought about it first. You had a clear mental image and you achieved the goal that you wanted to because you knew where you were going. You wouldn't get in a plane and, and fly around in the sky not knowing where to go because eventually you'd run out of gas and you wouldn't go to the store to buy groceries and not at least At least one up in your head. Well, the first step is you got to have a clear mental picture of where you're going and you're going to get there. The second thing is, number two, is you have to know that you can. You have to believe that you, you can do this thing. And this is where the hurdles come in. This is where the self-imposed hurdles come in and you place them in front of you and you give yourself all kinds of reasons, all kinds of excuses as to why you can't do it or how difficult it's going to be or who's going to say something or your mom's not going to like it. But you have to believe that you can do these things. You have to know where you're going number one, and you have to believe that you can get there. But the most important thing of that scenario is you have to see it clearly. You have to see exactly what it is that you want and where you're going. And then every day, you just have to practice. You wanna make more money, you gotta practice making more money. You gotta do things that you think will bring more money, but you gotta visualize, you gotta use that brain of yours. You gotta close your eyes and get a clear mental image of what it is that you want. I cannot stress this more. I cannot stress more the importance of seeing in your mind's eye, clear mental image of what it is that you want. Do everything you can to focus that image. And the last ingredient, the last thing you need is faith. You need to, you need to know that what you're doing is working even when you don't see it work. Cultivate that. You gotta improve your faith. You gotta believe that what you're doing is gonna work out. Well, that's, that's it. That's it. That's how this came to be. See this? I just picked that up today. Is that awesome? That's the Batmobile from the original Michael Keaton movie. That was the car that I did for the movie. It just came out with gold on it. Kind of looks like a John Player special that up at the store. Didn't expect to, didn't necessarily set up to pick it up, but it showed up because I love it. It's freaking awesome. And a little side news uh, uh, that just came up recently. I'm going to be writing very soon for this magazine, Garage Style Magazine. If you guys haven't seen that, check it out. Garage Style, it's all about really amazing garages. Uh, pretty much everywhere. It's a high quality, super high quality book. The next issue that comes out is gonna have a profile piece on yours truly, which is kind of cool, just you know, for those people that don't know what's going on here on the blog, because we're having so much fun, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm gonna be writing for them. Big thanks uh, to those guys at Garage Style and uh, for asking me and uh, to be involved. I think it's a, a fantastic magazine. And you know, there's not a lot of really good magazines nowadays, uh, for cars especially. GarageStyleMagazine.com, check them out. Very cool, it's gonna be awesome, can't wait. Hey, that's it, sorry sorry for talking, talking your ear off, didn't mean to, I did have a cup of coffee and that's just kind of what happens when, when I have a cup of coffee, but appreciate your time, subscribe to the vlog, hang out with us, we got a lot of really cool stuff going on. You be good out there.